So today is the uh, official day, right? This is the official day uh, that I found out that I had uh, lung cancer three years ago, which would uh, end up starting, you know, uh, my little battle or journey. Um, and I told you bits and pieces to kind of get you here. Uh, and again, this is all in hopes that uh, it'll help somebody else who's going through a cancer diagnosis, whether it be lung cancer or actually any kind of illness. So um, it's really weird. Uh, true story or confession. Uh, I knew about two days before. So I kind of found out on the 26th. It, it wasn't a, a about. I, I knew two days before. Um, it just didn't hit me right away. Uh, you know, I had the bad doctor experience and everything. Uh, and I had some anesthesiologists who were really nice and they reached out to me and they said, Hey, we'll, we'll make it happen today. You come on out. Uh, you know, we'll get you in for your biopsy. And they did. And, you know, I just know I went in, I was nervous, of course, cause this whole process has been kind of nerve wracking. And uh, you're doing the biopsy to see if this is a cancerous growth. And uh, I remember going to sleep <laughs> after. Well, I don't even remember. They gave me the they gave me the uh, the gas and I was I was pretty much out. And they woke me up and pretty much like your ride is here. And, I, you know, you know, at first I was just kind of like, oh, OK, you know, just hopped up. And I'm like, yeah, everything must be good. And then I'm like, wait, where I'm at? You know, you have to get your bearings. And they were saying, get dressed. And, you know, your ride, your ride is already here. We already call. And uh, and and uh, the anesthesiologist, the guy who did the biopsy, they came by and then they told me that it was cancerous. So the other part of that was he said, you know, that's all we can tell you right now, but the doctor will actually call you and give you more information. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, cause you know, it probably won't be official when, you know, until in my mind, I'm like, it won't be official until the doctor tell me. And then I figure out where to go from there. Uh, and I remember rolling out and talking to one of the nurses and, and, and it just so happens that, a college friend of mine was in the hallway and she's right there. And so she walked out with me and, and we were talking and she heard the whole thing. So she knew and uh, went out. My buddy was waiting on me and uh, we all prayed together. And, uh, and I got a little emotional then, uh, but then pretty much I was good. Right. The next couple of days I went around, I did, you know, pretty much everything on a regular schedule. And I was just circled the day that the, the doctor was supposed to call me in the, in two days. And, you know, and then from there we go. And remember, I told you this doctor was rude to me every time, except the time he told me that I had cancer. So I'm already prepped, right? I know I have it uh, technically, but I'm, you know, he's going to be the official word. So I'm just like, yeah. If he called me talking crazy, you know, I got cancer. Now nah, I'm going I'm to go off. Right. And it, it, it threw me when the call finally came. I mean, I went on with my whole day and I knew the call was coming. But when it came, you know, I just stopped. You know, I stopped what I was doing and took the call. And he was super nice. And, and, and he relayed to me all the information. And then he was telling me possible things that I would have to do next. So. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you, you pretty strong, you pretty strong. And it's a couple, you know, when, when you were dealing with it, man, you, you always had your chin up and da, da, da. But, you know, at first, you know, I'm going to tell you, I was a wreck and, uh, it just so happens, you know, I used to work at the gym and, uh, at the end of the day at the gym, we worked out, you know, I always had to make sure everything was kind of put up, closed down and everything, all the lights and everything was out. So we were always kind of some of the last people to leave. And we used to be in the gym and we'd uh, be in there with one of the guys called the OG, uh, uh, Ken. And uh, he would, uh, you know, we'd always break bread and tell stories. Sometimes you just listen. Sometimes you tell stories, laugh, joke, whatever. He was the first person I told. So this is a two part thing. So the first thing he said to me, and I just so happened to be not too far from him when I found out. So he was the first person I told. 
And uh, I just remember the first thing he said to me is uh, God is trying to tell you something. It's some God wants you to do and he getting your attention. It was the first time that was the first thing that I heard from anybody. And it, and it, it hit me and I kind of understood it. But I'm still processing having cancer. And but I'm and I'm I'm leaning on what he's saying. I mean, I know it's something I need to do, but right now, you know, I don't know what's next, right? Um, and as I was preparing, I had to tell my family, I had to tell my dad. And so now that was the part that was kind of hard. I had to figure out how to do that. And when I and 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 in the process, I saw a couple other people and I was telling people I didn't have any problem. It was just, you know, I told them, you know. And uh you know, people say, man, you're so strong. You're so strong, man. Well, it's two things. Uh, um, what Ken told me about, um, you know, God's trying to tell you something and, and there's something God wanted to get your attention about. Uh, that was the spiritual, the spiritual strength uh, that kind of first hit me. Uh, the, the inner strength or what people say, you know, when, I'm, when they say I'm so strong is you have to anchor yourself with something when you find out about a, a cancer diagnosis or, or any illness, right? Because you have to get your mind right. And the first part of my mind being right was Ken trying to tell me that, that, that God had a purpose for you and you just have to figure out what it was. The second was when I had to tell my dad and then see him kind of break down when I told him. And so from that point, on the on the on the strength side, that's where most of my strength came from uh, outside of the spiritual strength, because that's something I just didn't want to see. Right. Like it, it was at that moment when my mind clicked and said, all right, what I got to do? What do I need to do? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to pray. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure all the things out that I need to do. But that right there can't happen, you know, because of me. And uh and so that's where all my strength comes, well, comes from, came from. Uh, at that time, I was, because my mindset has been different ever since. Uh, we, you know, you get a, you get a medical diagnosis that's not so good, and you don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, and right now, I'm blessed, man. I'm I'm doing good. Uh, scans are still, you know, coming back, uh, you know, free and clear right now. So. You know, we pray on that and, and try to build the body up so that that continues to happen. But you just never know, right, uh, how it's going to turn out. But the start of everything has to be your mindset. So whatever it is, your dog, your cat, your, your family, a friend, uh, some purpose, a goal or whatever it is, you got to get your mindset uh, to the point where it's like, all right, you know, what do I got to do? How are we going to do it? And that right there, man, is the first step or the first two steps, you know, uh, you know, figuring out, you know, the, the purpose or the challenge that God put in front of you and how you're going to deal with it. And that anchor to get your mind set to the point where you are ready to fight and do whatever you need to do to come out of this, uh, with the best possible scenario. Um, and 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 be as positive as, as you can uh going through the process so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna definitely do some more videos um and 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 give some other you know things that you can uh use to help in your fight against whatever your medical diagnosis is and uh, particularly any cancers uh but uh for today that this this was my start right this was it this is this is when everything uh, you know, as the train, the train started to roll today. So, uh, that's all I got, man. Enjoy your Sunday. Um, uh, I'm out.